Hey friends, it's Missy again. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm back with a new layout for the Hip Kit Club and I'm using the 2018 August kits for this. And I went through the papers from the main kit and I picked these three out to start. I wanted to challenge myself to use some really busy patterns and try to just do something a little bit different. And I want to use this light pink cardstock as my background. It's from the cardstock kit and it's called too, too pink, I think. It's very, very soft. So I thought I would just not use a cut file for this and use my punches instead. And a circle type of design popped into my mind. And so I pulled out several different sizes of my circle punches and just got to punching. And I uh, went through these three papers. Two of these are from the Amy Tangerine Shine On collection. And then that uh, blue one is from the Maggie Holmes Willow Lane collection. And so I'm just kind of playing around here. I thought, what could I do with all these circles? And I just decided to try to make a background. Honestly, I hadn't even chosen my photo yet. I was just trying to come up with a design and a color scheme at this point. And that's all I'm doing here. And I thought I would use a black and white photo since I've got a lot of black pops throughout some of these circles. And that's kind of where my head is in the beginning. And that's going to change. I took a break, came back, and printed out my photos in the meantime, and I decided to go with color photos instead for an even bigger challenge because I'm the type of person that my photos have to match my papers. Um, some people can pull it off where it doesn't, but I gotta have something sort of matching. And so I'm kind of gonna change gears here. And I printed these in color because uh, most of the photo is faces. And so that color is pretty neutral. And then my shirt is kind of a, a deep green aqua color. So I thought I could make that work with these colors here. And I decided to add in some floral elements. And this is one of the Maggie Holmes papers with the flowers. And so this is kind of the design I decided to change to. Um, I kind of decided to go with a vertical design here. I pulled out some of the Project Life cards to use as layers. And I want that one at the top that says Just Us to kind of peek out at the top, just like you see it there. And then this Project Life card had a flower on it, and I just decided to cut that out. And this is gonna look nothing like the circles that I punched out in the very beginning. It just sort of takes on a whole new life of its own and I just ran with it, you know? And now I have some punched circles that I could use on another layout. But I like how it turns out. And I try to use that Amy Tangerine floral paper with the black in it and it's just, I can't make it work on this particular layout. It just looked very busy and it kind of darkened things up. And whereas in the beginning I wanted to go with a lot of black in the uh, papers, it just sort of changed and I decided to make it more of a light layout with not a lot of black elements. I do use some black elements, but um, not that particular paper. So I'm just smudging some white gesso down on top of that pink cardstock. And then I'm going to reach for the color kit. I'm going to use the Aqua Spray, which is a Shimmers Colorings called Well Blue Me Down. And it's the perfect aqua color that's got a bluish tint to it. I love it. I use it all the time. And I'm just going to use the packaging technique here. And another color that's in the color kit this month is a gorgeous gold. It's in that little pot there. And it's an Inklings. And it's called Minor Minor 49er and it is very very close to Heidi Swap gold color shine. It's just not a spray It's an actual paint and the longer you leave the water in those paints the thicker and the creamier the paint is going to get If you spray it right away and start to stir it and want to use it immediately It's going to be a lot more watery and the color is going to be a lot lighter But if you let it sit for a while and let it really soften up, it's going to be thick and creamy and so it's beautiful regardless, but um, yeah, you'll be able to see the shimmer later because it's very shimmery and it's just a beautiful gold color. 
And so I'm going to add that into the aqua here. And I'm just kind of making some watercolor splotches to kind of peek out from both sides of that vertical design that I have going. And then I decide that since I've got a lot of that pinkish coral color going on in the Project Life card and that flower, that I would pull in some of that color as well. And I'm going to do that here in just a second. And this is a color that we got in our color kit several months ago, and it's also from Shimmers. It's a Creamies, and it's called Grapefruit. And it's the perfect coral color, I think. It's very soft, and I'm just going to add a little bit of it here and there just for some light pops of that color because it is in that Amy Tangerine triangle paper. I do wind up using that, um, and it's also in the Project Life card and that Maggie Holmes flower cluster that I cut out. And even though I added quite a bit of, well, not I wouldn't say quite a bit, but I used a decent amount of of watery products, you know, with the paint and the sprays, and even with all that gesso, that cardstock did not buckle at all. It stayed perfectly flat. So I'm adding some things behind my photo. I'm gonna go ahead and stick all this down while my paper, my background paper is drying. Um, I added some white tissue paper behind the photos. And then I'm going to add in these two Project Live cards. And I did scruff up the edges a little bit with my edge distressor. And I'm going to wind up putting that card, the pink one, upside down with the little circle down at the bottom. And I'm going to add something to that later. But I like doing this to my main cluster. I like go ahead and going ahead and taping it all together or gluing it all together so I can just move the whole thing around as one big piece. And it helps when I'm making my background so I can just pull it back over and put it on top and see how it looks. Now this is a die cut from the Willow Lane collection and I did slice the little leaves there so I could overlap the leaves on top of the Project Life card there with my palette knife. And I'm also going to pull out that big uh, chipboard flower from the Willow Lane chipboard sticker sheet and that's in the embellishment kit. I think I used all of the kits on this layout. I know I used the color kit, I used the cardstock kit, the main kit, the embellishment kit. Did I say the color kit? I think I used all the kits. So um, I decided to add more to the background. You know me, I can't leave it as is. I have to continue and continue and continue to work on it until it's perfect. Well, as perfect in, in my eyes as it can get. And so I just add another layer of some things. I go back over the gold areas just to make it a little bolder and a little more um, visible. And the same thing with the coral here, the grapefruit. And when this dries, it does soften up just a little bit because obviously it's still wet, so it looks darker. But and then when I add everything back on top of it, it does tend to change how the background looks. So I think the background's done. No, it's not. I lied. I'm going to add some stamps. I love this stamp set from the Maggie Holmes Willow Lane collection. And so I pulled out a gold ink pad from my stash. And I'm just going to do two stamps of this big flower cluster on the background, just sort of peeking out from behind everything. And I love how it stamps. The stamps are beautiful, of course, but they they stamp beautifully. I've used black ink and now I've used gold ink. And the black ink I have is like a dye ink. It's permanent. And this is a pigment ink. And either way, it's stamped beautifully and on top of gesso and on top of the shimmers. And so I think I'm going to be using these stamps pretty much on everything because they are so pretty and they work really really well so I'm just going to continue to play with embellishments here I'm going to exchange that flower circle there for a sticker that's got a quote on it and then I'm going to add that circle with a flower on it down to the lower left area since I still did have some circle elements going on I thought I would still keep in a couple of those just not all the ones that I punched in the beginning 
I just, I feel like you can't go wrong with a design when you have big flower clusters layered around the photo. I think that is one of my go-to design things whenever I'm looking at florals. So I use my crocodile. Do you guys have a crocodile? Do you remember those things? It's a giant hole puncher that'll punch through just about anything. I punched a hole down in that little tab in the bottom Project Life card and added some cord through it just to kind of finish it off. And I don't know, whenever I have a tag like that, I like to add twine or, or jute twine or something through it to kind of finish it off. So I did that down there at the bottom. And here comes the thread. I pulled out all the colors that I had that matched this collection and I'm going to use some coral thread and I'm going to wind up doubling it up. I pulled it like five, five big long pulls on my, I usually do four to make a, a cluster of thread, but I went for five and I just kind of wanted that color and texture popping underneath that floral cluster and it's hard to see here on camera. Um, you can see it better in person, but I'm going to wind up adding another chunk of that thread under there just so you can see that coral color kind of popping underneath there. And all I'm doing is adding some adhesive foam underneath pieces. I added it to the main part of the cluster, but now I'm realizing that all these little bits and pieces sticking out need something to hold them up as well because they're kind of sagging down. And that's just some craft adhesive foam that I get from Walmart. I get asked that quite a lot. It uh, comes in a pack of 40 sheets and it's on the aisle where the kids craft stuff is. It's like five dollars. Um, I'm gonna add in a couple of other tiny embellishments, some more things from Willow Lane, a couple of these little floral stickers and leaves, another chipboard piece. So many little embellishments here and I love those black clear stickers. Those are awesome. I'm gonna wind up using two of those for my title. Here's where I go in and add more of that coral thread. We did get some black thickers, some foam black thickers in one of the kits, but um, I didn't want to use them on this particular layout because I felt like they were a little too big for, um, for this particular layout. And so I'm going to use some of those black clear stickers there over to the left. I want to add some thread to the left side. And so I, I didn't have that mustardy yellow color thread. I just have bright sunny yellow. And so I kind of blended it with some metallic gold to kind of tone down the bright yellow. And I think that worked pretty well. And I tucked that in over to the left. Now, these are gold clear stickers from Maggie Holmes. And they are so pretty. These leaves, oh my gosh. I would love a giant sheet of just these leaves. They are so pretty. And they look so good in flower clusters. There's only a couple on there. And oh, I need more. I need more. Uh, my title's coming up here. And I just decided to go with you and me at first and that was perfect because that goes with my pictures and I wanted to use this little bird I just think he's cute and so I'm going to work him into I'm going to use my ruler to make sure this is straight because 99.9% .9 of the time I'm going to stick it on crooked if I don't have a guide there to help me and then I decided to add in the word together so the title would be you and me together but then I couldn't make the together fit just right and so I reversed it I'm going to put the together on top and then the you and me is going to nestle right underneath where the G is. I said nestle. That's a Jin Scow word. I never have used the word nestle before. So shout out to Jin Scow for saying nestle all the time. Huh. It does. It nestles. Nestle, nestle, nestle. Anyway, the little bird is going to stand right on top of me. Not me. Really me. But the word me. And then I'm going to add a puffy heart. and a puffy flower. And then I'm going to add another little yellow piece there just to add a pop of color. And then I think I'm almost done. I'm going to add in my journaling and my date stamp. And I think that is going to wrap it up. This was a lot of fun to make. Um, even though it totally turned out nothing like I had originally planned, but sometimes that happens. You get everything laid out and you just don't like it and it just doesn't work. And so what do you do? You change it. And that background cardstock is pink 
And my final photo, when I had to photograph it in my window, it was really, really bright. And so I tried to edit the colors as true as they are, but my that light pink just got washed out. So in my final photo, it does look really white, but it was pink. And uh, yeah, I love this color scheme. I think it turned out really, really pretty and cute. There's the little bird. I love the color of that bird. Um, anyway, let me know if you have any questions about any of the kits or any of the techniques or anything at all, and I'll be more than happy to answer. I uh, hope you guys have a great week, and I want to thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.